And welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Blue Terran in the Southwest up against Harrison. Uh, probably not Ford. Uh, the Red Zerg in the Northeast. The map is Blistering Sands, which I've had a lot of trouble on, and I hear is bad for Terran, which is probably why I have trouble on it. Uh, not too fond of this map, simply because of these rocks here. It is such a large base here, which is usually good for Terran because that way I can't. It's it's a lot harder to clump up uh, the buildings and not be able to get uh, the the mech out of the, the the factory and move it across the base, which uh, you guys saw in uh, a replay a couple games ago. If you did see that. Here we see an overlord scouting his own expansion. And the drone instead will be going out to do uh, some scouting on my base. Harvester saying what's up to each other. Not sure if they understood each other though. Barrett's going to be going down right on the ramp. Of course that is the best spot for it against a Zerg player. I'm not sure if that... No, see, look, he can go around this side, so it was not a good placement on my part. And he is going to be going for early harassment on that worker, so I send another SCV to take out that drone. Looks like he is going for the barracks instead now. There we go, and I am able to finish him off while I do make it to his base. And see, hey, I've really got nothing. But of course, once my SCV is inside his base, he sends another drone out to do the hatchery. So even though I came here in time to prevent it, me going inside, getting greedy and scouting that, allowed him to get that fast expansion. So it looks like we got 15 gas, 15 expansion, and 15 spawning pool. So, a pretty standard opener uh, these days for uh, the Zerg player. Marine coming out. As Spawning Pool is almost done for um, the Harrison. <laughs> I do have uh, my first refinery up. So, I am going to be getting that reactor. And there, I do complete the block the block off with a reactor but that is not the best way to go against Zerg of course they can use banelings and completely destroy these buildings with only 400 HP of which there are three now that are part of this block off here uh, second and third barracks going down for me still nothing too out of the box a couple Zerglings coming out are they going to be doing some harassment I doubt it because he's got more Zerglings in the base and two Spine Crawlers coming up. No, these Zerglings have actually been split. One will guard each of the Zelnaga Towers. He is going to be getting sight, which is important on this map and something that I neglect to do very often during the games. Always get the, the Zelnaga Towers if you can. But even though he's got the expansion, he's only got one... Uh, drone on the minerals. That is crazy. Only nine on the on the main minerals. Baneling nests go already going down, uh, but I, I do have a lot uh, better income from them. I am operating fully off of two. I am going off of two um, extractors here. I don't have that second one fully. Uh, fully uh, saturated yet. I still need two more to finish that off. But I do have the lead in both, especially with those mules out. But will Banelings be my destruction on this game? Again, I hate the Banelings so much. Uh, the only good thing about them is that once they, once they go out, they die. Die, Banelings, die. Two more uh, spine crawlers. Were these the two original ones? Yes, it looks like he did move them down. So they are going to be guarding the expansion instead of the main. Uh, I can still go around and take out the rocks down here, but the observer, or the observer, wow, the overlord will see that. 
And there go my Marines to secure the expansion. And there goes the SUV out to build it. I do have 22 harvesters. I am not oversaturated at the base. I still need a couple more, but I'm not training them anymore. What am I doing? I am getting a reactor on a starport as well as siege tech being researched. Uh, no siege tanks coming out yet. Uh, reactor going down on that starport, like I said. Another starport going down along with the expansion while I continue to amass the army right outside the expansion not doing anything out wow 18 zerglings coming out i assume they will be turning into banelings once they do come out because of that baneling nest spore crawler in the middle of his uh mineral line there even though he doesn't have very many mineral workers to protect just the six as well as the five down here another spore crawler uh, so he is scared of the banshee harass do I have the missile turrets up oh after I've said it so many times did I not listen to my own advice it doesn't look like I did now would be the perfect time to get missile turrets because you nine and a half minutes it's already too late they should already be up because he could have easily gotten uh, four or five mutas at least out on the field and taken out the entire mineral line before I could get any marines up there to back them up. And it looks like 23 zerglings out on the field just hanging out. He does have map control thanks to those zerglings. Uh, there we go. Spire finally going up. It is a little late. Uh, later than I'm used to seeing, uh, but the Spire will uh, give him even more map control. So it looks like he's going to be going uh, Baneling Mutalisk this time while I am sticking with my infantry ball. There we go. Now they're being morphed into Banelings. 23 Banelings on the way. Good lord. Uh, melee attacks level 1 being researched as well. And that gives them from 20 to 22 damage, uh, including 39 against light. Overlord hanging out. Not sure what he can see with that. What can he see? Uh, nothing. He can basically, I, I assume that's being used uh, to make sure I don't go for a sneaky uh, roundabout medevac drop? Uh, I'm not sure about the positioning on that. Centrifugal hooks on the way for Harrison. He wants those banelings to move faster. They want them to be roly-poly banelings. He is doing a great job of spreading creep with those creep tumors, though. That is something that I am not that used to seeing from Zerg players, especially this well. Uh, that does give him sight. So he will be able to see everything I'm doing. Plus, I cannot build on it. So if he is able to get it all the way to this expansion here, even this expansion here, I will not be able to build a command center and harvest those until I take out those creep tumors. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't get ravens because I have a reactor because I'm, I've thought things through against these Zerg. Ugh. I mentioned that in the last game, and I will mention it again in this game. If you're playing against Zerg, get a get a tech lab on at least one of your starports. If not for Banshees, then for Ravens, and eventually Battle Cruisers if you can get them. Even though that that happens really late in the game, I know. So I'm finally moving out. Um, I do have a, a quite a formidable army here. If I'm able to avoid these Banelings, or able to uh, at least kite away from them, I should be fine. Banelings rolling. And no, I don't do any kind of micro whatsoever. So it takes out all but five marauders. But that should be more than enough to take out these spine crawlers here. And waiting for them to be healed up. And there we go. Move on out. Taking out the queen. Am I going to be able to take out the expansion? 
Zerglings are on the way. Burrow being researched. Oh, look at all those Zerglings. Oh, Lord, I stand no chance. So these Marauders will go down. I did not pick them up like a smart player. I let them die.